Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, I wasn't going to do a video about this, but I thought I might show it just to show how I did it, and if anybody else wants to build one, they can build one. Uh, this is a little, I've been in a planter box kind of mood this last month, and this is a little uh, planter box made from just regular old pine, and the specific kind of pine is the cheap kind of pine. So it doesn't cost you an arm and a leg to make. You can get a shot of that. It's one by three by eight kiln dried premium furring strips. And I like this stuff. I bought a bunch of it and I found a ton of uses for it already. So I just wanted to kind of show this, uh, give some dimensions, give, give an overall little cut plan for you to do and show you the practicality of where you can put one. This is a six foot long by nine and a half inch wide planter box. Uh, it's all just basic glue. It's a glue up, this is why there's clamps everywhere. It's glued and it's uh, just brad nailed together. And I'm doing this for a couple of reasons. I wanna see how long this type of build will last in Florida. And I'm gonna put my guess on right about two, two and a half years, the way it is. But an experiment I want to see how a quick fast cheap you know don't second guess every cut and measurement kind of build goes I took a, it took me about 25 30 minutes to put this together um, and I used uh, my little porter cable air nailer with these little guys these are little inch and a half brad nails so you can see the penetration point is almost tip to tip so you can see so it's pretty well tacked together. I tried to be pretty even with my nailing spots. But I wanted to go over this. It's just a quick and dirty little uh, little bench build. It's pretty pretty rain out, rainy out here today. So Jax is, uh, has to be inside until the rain stops. I've got him a little dog bed over there in the shop. But yeah, it's a pretty cool build. I, um, I've been really just trying to experiment with using cheaper uh, wood to do these projects with because I can't believe how much money lumber costs these days. It's absolutely ridiculous to try to do anything. It used to be where you'd, you'd build something on your own and save a lot of money and nowadays you can buy something that's come made out of China for 20 bucks and you know probably cost you 120 bucks in material. So it's a it's not a perfect job. It's got you know I mean this this wood does have its imperfections. It does like to get a little wavy there's a, you know, you can see a little bit of wave to it, but, you know, if you have a bunch of clamps and some, uh, some of this wood glue, you can make a pretty decent straight setup out of it. Right here, so, this wood is, I think, a $1.60 or a $1.72 a strip, and I like to buy them in the bundles. There's no, I just opened up my last bundle, but what's nice about buying them in a bundle is they stay nice and tied together so they don't get warped. So, I'll show you where this is going. Come out here. Got this little porch right here. And up on this railing, there's this little, there's this little front porch here where he's hanging out. And what we want to do is paint it white and then just put a bunch of wildflowers up in the front of it just to give some, some color up here on this, on this building. This is the new shop. And it's in my backyard, so I want it to look pretty. And these little plant hangers I got at Lowe's, you get a pack of two of these guys, and they're $9.95, I think 10 bucks for a set of two, and they're adjustable. And I built the box um, actually nine inches wide, because this opens up exactly nine inches, and it'll hang in here, which is pretty neat. So let me go ahead and take it out of the clamps and drop it in here and show you what I'm working with. go. So there's a planter box in its little receptacle. It's pretty cool. Got a sticker, so I gotta take off of here. I'm gonna do a little sanding on it after the uh, glue is totally set up. And get some of the, the drip and some of the runs out of the glue, and I'll fill in the nail holes and paint it all up pretty. But it's actually a pretty cool little uh, little build. So if you do the math on it, got a roughly two bucks a board, $1.72. So you got six, 12, you're only cutting these at six feet, so you can use the cutoffs at the end for your sides and stuff. So eh, less than 20 bucks, you got a nice little uh, six foot long by 
nine inch planter box and I think this thing is it's six inches these are six inches so ah, six and a quarter six and a half inches deep little box there so not too shabby I think it'll look pretty up here I'll paint it up white and you know fill in the the imperfections of this wood it's you know something cheap and easy so if you guys like this video remember to thumbs up subscribe and i will get you on the next video and then you'll see this thing all painted up and finished